Today we'll be talking about making software engineering work. Now, we're going to start with something called the process framework. The process framework is a general framework which will be used to help us determine how the project will be built and deployed. Because it is a general framework, you can find it works in many different types of environments and domains. In fact, not even just software and IT related domains. The process framework is made up of five basic steps, which we're going to talk about in more detail going forward, but I just want to introduce those to you right now. The steps are communication, planning, modeling, construction, and deployment. Now, the software engineering practice borrows from this general process framework. And we're going to simplify these activities into four basic steps and then see these developed over and over again in different projects. The four basic steps for software engineering are understanding the problem, planning a solution, carrying out the plan, and then examining the results. Under the framework, there are a number of activities that are going to fall under a general umbrella of activities to help us manage and control the process, quality, change, and risk. Now, there are tools out there to help us manage each of these activities. Some people believe that with the right tool, we're okay. We don't have any problems. However, a tool is only as good as the person is wielding it. So it's important to learn these activities so that the tool can be most effective. Once again, we're just introducing these activities here, and we're going to speak to more detail in the future. Some things that we're going to look at is risk management, quality assurance, technical reviews, software configuration management, reusability management, and many more. So that's just an introduction to these basic topics. Let's start looking at some of these processes and tasks in more detail.